Reacting to a news item that had appeared all over social media and in local dailies, a member of the National People's Youth Front of the NPP, Bajok Pengrop, said that the intention of the AITC National General Secretary's reference of Meghalaya Chief Minister as Conman Sangma is but childish and was intended to tarnish the image of the head of the state. At a press conference held on the 30th of June 2022, Bajop Pangrob demanded an apology from a particular media house for quoting the vilifying remark of AITC National General Secretary Abhishek Banerjee against the Chief Minister of Meghalaya, failing which the NPP will file a defamation case against it. And uh, yesterday's uh, National General Secretary of the Trinamool Congress, Abhishek Banerjee's speech, uh, regarding the state of Meghalaya and its affairs. Uh, I want to remind him that the statement which he made, the virus tag that he has given the NPP is not an insult only to the National People's Party, but it is an insult to the state of Meghalaya. We are not virus and in no scientific term I have heard as uh, a virus called NPP. NPP is the National People's Party and also Vaccine, I haven't heard uh, any term uh, vaccine uh, named Trinamool, so I think maybe this vaccine has come from West Bengal, a scientist from West Bengal. Maybe, you know, the news uh, reporters, you can uh, cross-check whether this uh, vaccine is available in any of the uh, hospitals, private hospitals or dispensaries across the state, but me, myself, I haven't come across any vaccine named Trinamool. He called the Honorable Chief Minister the con man of the state. It is uh, a very childish statement which is unacceptable to the NPYF and also to the state in particular because uh, the Honorable Chief Minister is not only the national president of the National People's Party but he is the current Chief Minister holding a constitutional post elected by uh, honorable MLAs from various constituencies. So this term, calling him a con man of the state, uh, I demand apology both from the National General Secretary and also from one of the uh, media houses which has reported this uh, uh, news, which has reported this statement because this is unacceptable and uh, if you level any allegations against the chief minister or against the government, I feel that you come up with uh, substantial evidences and proof before you level any uh, allegations against the chief minister or the government. And also I would like to remind him uh, that he should not come to Meghalaya and you know project himself that he's such a clean politician. I think I should remind him that uh, the Enforcement Directorate and the Central Bureau of Investigation are already on his tail regarding the 1900 crore coal scam. I think his wife was also involved in this coal scam. Uh, I think uh, since uh, the state government out there is protecting him at the moment, maybe in years to come he'll be behind bars because there are proofs which uh, are genuine against this uh, 1900 crore coal scam. So before you level any allegations against any party or against the chief minister, I would request all political parties to come clean, to come with evidences and proofs. So from our side, the National People's Youth Front, we are ready for the election, we welcome them contest the election in Meghania, but also we are warning them that we don't want violence. We are a state which is very peaceful. We don't want any violence and the NPYF is here to make sure that the 2023 elections will be smooth and NPP will be uh, successful in this uh, coming election in the 2023. And also, uh, I would like to remind him that the statement that he made that uh, Meghalaya bows down to New Delhi. See, as a state, we are under the Republic of India. Meghalaya is under the Republic of India. So, our state, as we know, 
we are a state where revenue generation is comparatively less compared to other states. So our relationship with the government of India should be a cordial, a good one because at the end of the day, we have only one currency all over India.